Hello and welcome to class of 3D. So today in this class we are going to discuss about WCDMA. So this is basically a multiple axis technique. So as per multiple axis techniques, that means multiple axis techniques are basically so that one resource could be shared by many users at a time because a resource is a costly like we have a frequency which is a costly resource so we need to use like multiple access technology that irrespective of giving one resource to a one person for a time we can multiple access the resource so that it could be betterly used so for that we have multiple access techniques so in multiple access techniques we have fdma we have tdma and we have cdma like FDMA, frequency division multiple axis. If this is your frequency axis and this is the time axis. Now we are dividing the frequency and then we are allocating to the users. That means this particular set of frequency for this much time to use one, two, so on up to. So this is a frequency is a resource. So multiple users are accessing the resource at a time. So this is multiple axis technique and which is frequency division multiple axis technique. Now here in uh, TDMA, that means time division multiple axis, frequency and time. Here time axis will be divided. We can divide the frequency as well. That this frequency could be used by this user at particular, this is the duration or this is the time slot. That means we have increased the capacity because we are dividing in the users as per their time slots and the scheme is time division multiple axis. Whereas in case of code division multiple axis, like this is a frequency axis, this is a time axis, and we have another axis which is of power also. So here in this case, each and every user can access the frequency for a time with the help of their code. And the code of each and every users will be different. Now, as in 3G, we are using the concept of WCDMA. WCDMA stands for wide band. Code division multiple axis. So here wide band code division multiple axis that means we have increased the band of band allocated so that we can accommodate more bits that means to increase the capacity as well as to have more data rate we have increased the bandwidth with some codes. The codes which are used are called as spreading codes so that means we are using some codes to spread the signal how for example i have a signal and this is narrow band signal for example i have a signal and this one is a narrow band signal now i will map this signal to a code signal for example this is my white band code and the resultant is a broader end signal that means i have spreaded my signal spreaded my signal and make it a wide band signal now this signal will have my code signal plus code so I have spreaded my signal at the transmitter side and at the re uh, receiver side I need to de spread the signal so that I can remove the code and I can have the signal. That means for transmission of signal through which path? Through air interface. Through air interface so that signal can travel through the air interface. So here we are using this technology as WCDM. That if I have a narrow band signal, I'm going to spread this signal with the, with some code. And when the signal will be spreaded, I have a wide band signal and receiver will do the reverse process. So this is the concept of WCDMA. So WCDMA concept which is used in 3G is using the concept of spreading. And D spreading. 
and for spreading and despreading we require some codes and codes are basically used so that we can spread the signals and we can despread the signal with security so this is wcema concept which is used in 3g now here if you talk about the bandwidth which offers by 3g so 3g offers a bandwidth of 5 megahertz so as compared to a cdma cdma is offering a bandwidth of 1.25 megahertz so here we are offering up to increase in bandwidth because bandwidth is also a factor to have more data rate so as per the codes like in cdma we are using pn codes pseudo noise codes and we are using walsh code now here in this case in case of wcdma we are not going to use the same codes as used in cdma with pn codes and walsh codes here the codes will be different now the course we will continue in our next class thank you so much